Good morning from Florida. This is Al Otero, president of the Global Trade Chamber and the co-founder of 100 Successful Women in Business Around the World. Uh, this is our segment called Success Stories, where we showcase, introduce, and highlight uh, very special people, uh, people that are not only successful in their fields, but more than that, they're making an impact for other wonderful people around the world, inspiring and motivating them. And today is no exception. Uh, my co-host, Maria Rene, has another project today. So we're here covering the world of uh, Florida, which is not a bad place to be. <laughs> we have a wonderful, special lady. Uh, and I'm just l learning a lot about her industry, which is dominated by men. Uh, Dr. Rita Singh is uh, talking to us from New Delhi, India. Welcome, Rita. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm so privileged and honored. It is a unique uh, industry that you're in. I mean, we talk to a lot of women that are leaders in the industry. But uh, industry. So tell us how you got into this. You're the adage at the IFBB. Explain that to us. Yes, I'm a judge now. I have competed for many number of years. And, uh, you know, in India, um, we couldn't even imagine uh, uh, bodybuilding uh, many a few years ago. And I was one of the first ones to get into it. And, uh, uh, you know, my, my son was already a teenager. You know, I, I started at an age where most wow. people would have actually uh, retired. And uh, my son uh, is an autistic child and uh, uh, he wanted to, uh, you know, build his body like, some, like a Bollywood star. And uh, that was the first time I felt that there is an initiative from his side. And I wanted to encourage him and do what he looks forward to. So I started going along with him uh, to the gym. And I realized that I have this, uh, you know, in, in the potential in me uh, to do uh, very well in this field. And um, being an Indian, I got a lot of resistance from the society because the bodybuilding requires a, a costume where a lot of body is exposed. And uh, weight training was something which women didn't do at all, um, you know, a few years ago. So uh, I faced a lot of resistance, but I was really bent upon uh, doing it. So uh, since we didn't have many competitions in India, I started traveling abroad and I started representing India. And now, uh, you know, over the years, there are uh, hundreds of girls who have come forward uh, looking, at, looking at me and looking at some of the first ones who did that. And uh, so now we have a lot of bo women bodybuilders too. So that's how I got into it. That's amazing. <clears throat> now I actually visited your Facebook page <clears throat> and if you didn't tell me, I would not guess that you were a bodybuilder because you could be <laughs> a model, you could be an international beauty queen and the, the type of bodybuilding that you do is not this huge muscles. It's just toning your body and just amazing. So I'm very, very impressed with what you're doing and what you have done. That's a unique uh, talent that you have developed. Thank you. Yes, uh, I feel that bodybuilding, uh, you know, for women, the International Federation of Bodybuilding has come up now with divisions where you can, uh, you know, become the best version of yourself rather mm. than trying to be like a man. It is uh, rather that you celebrate uh, the body of a woman and bring out the best formation that is possible anatomically. And uh, I feel that any sport should make you uh, very, very positive. And I, I'm probably the first one who looks at it like that because I feel that bodybuilding, uh, when people are into bodybuilding, competitive bodybuilding, they, they take their bodies to such a level that their health, um, homeostatic level actually goes down. But actually it should elevate you. And so I try to uh, participate in activities which kind of compensate or super compensate uh, for, the, uh, for where we lack in bodybuilding, like the flexibility and speed. So I am also um, you know, now into classical dance 
and there is no an way. Indian ancient uh, martial uh, arts. So I try to balance it out and build an all-round personality. So uh, uh, it is it is very uh, different and unique. And so I'm also writing a book uh, so that you can, you know, uh, kind of there is an analogy in every field and there is something in the mind of champions which manifests itself in every walk of life so if you kind of try to uh, relate that into every field you can uh, really elevate yourself in everything else and uh, raise yourself as a human being so i wish to set that example and so i am doing it in practice and writing a book as well when do you think that book may be finished? Uh, it will take uh, it will take a long time because it's something uh, like uh, the the classical dance I am learning is uh, Bharatnatyam. I've already learned it for about ten years when I was young, but it's 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 a very very tough. It's kind of a prayer. It's just not a regular Zumba dance or anything, and uh -huh. um, it, it has a lot of science and mathematics in it. And, uh, you know, it is an ancient art, very, very ancient art, say about 5,000 years ago. Um, even the martial art that I have just begun, is, it's, it is supposed to be made by gods according to the Hindu mythology. So it takes a lot of research and I have to apply my mind because nothing like this has ever been done. So uh, doing it all takes a lot of time. And I have to really think and make it very authentic. So it's going to take me a lot of time, but uh, I'm very much into it. I want to oh, do yeah. something different. You see books on fitness are on uh, nutrition, exercise, the regular things, and they are just rewritten uh, from a different perspective. So you don't see something new. So uh, uh, it's kind of the, because I have always been very unconventional. I want my book to be unique too. <laughs> well, like you? You're unique. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, very good, unique. Well, I have some, a couple of questions people have sent us. What is your diet? Oh, I uh, I try to maintain as much. I uh, I think you should eat everything, but I don't eat too much of oil. A lot of pe people focus on what you should eat, but I focus on eliminating all the junk food, all processed food, and, uh, you know, I try to maintain a calorie balance uh, between my activities. And so I have quite a freedom, you know, so I eat a lot of salads and uh, steamed chicken. I, I don't eat uh, vegetarian diet. Um, I include fruits. And so I, I am not uh, like very strict about, about, I have a lot of dry fruits, but very strict about not having pizzas and burgers. And I, I haven't probably eaten sugar or uh, you know, Coke, uh, Pepsi kind of things for more than, uh, you know, 15, 16 years. I think wow. I, I've just forgotten that's, it. I, I don't do that at all. That is unique. Uh, so it is not about not eating. It is about eating healthy. Yes. And you eat how many times a day? Do you snack a lot between meals? How do you maintain your day? My snacks are like six almonds and that's about it or a date. Wow. Uh, but my meals are four meals, and uh, oh. you know they are they they're not that huge. I don't think we need so much of food. People overestimate the amount of food that they need. Yeah, I have somebody that says they always wanted to do bodybuilding, but now you've given them a good inspiration because you have a different way of looking at bodybuilding. So you really inspired somebody. Ah, that's great. So, <laughs> uh, what? You have a family, you have a son. How do you yeah. balance your day? What is a typical schedule for you in a day? How do you manage uh, your day? I am involved in uh, various varied activities and it is, it's very difficult. It's really a challenge to find an equilibrium. So mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I do in the morning, I do breathing exercises and uh, I do my prayers and then I write down a schedule and then I stick to it. And sometimes I am not able to complete uh, one set of activity, but I am strict about the timing. Uh, so, you know, if, if say by 8 a.m. I am not able to do a certain activity, I have a kind of detachment with that. I let go and I stick to my timetable because you may Just go slow in life, but yes, you have done a little bit of everything. So I don't lose touch with things. Uh, that's how I do it. Yeah, a lot of people uh, try to get through the day, but keep in mind, through the day, a thing they were supposed to do, so it prevents them from being more productive. 
That is a very good message. I love that. So once you get through a, a, a challenge, do not linger on it because you're going to affect your other activities for the day. So that's a good lesson. I think you have a great message that you're going to have in your book, and that should be another presentation on how to be successful from your perspective. I think you have a lot to share with people. Yeah, I have a couple of chapters on mind and how to manage. And I feel a pe lot of people waste time on social media, phone calls, and unnecessary thing, and a perception that we are exhausted, um, but we really are not. So um, I think uh, the human body is a great thing. It can adapt to anything. And you just need to want it enough and then everything falls in place. What is, uh, how many hours per day would you say that you uh, exercise to compete? I don't count. I just have targets like my weight training, but in, you know, as a thumb rule, my weight training is about 45 minutes. Uh, but I do uh, about one hour of uh, practicing Bharatnatyam. And I have about 45 minutes of doing my breathing exercises and yoga. So uh, it's all very, very, uh, you know, slotted. And because I have been doing it over a period of time, I don't stop in between. Um, so I think that is the key that I can just go yeah. back to back. And uh, the reason for that is that um, I sleep in time. I eat well. Um, you know, I'm not interested. How many in hours do you sleep? Um, maybe between, something between six to seven hours. That's good. That's very good. And yes. you still do everything you do. That's amazing. Yes. I, I, say to ask you, I don't waste time in between talking to people. <laughs> like me. No, no. This is, <laughs> this is special. This very is special. part of my work. Yes. You're, you're very special. Tell me about Haida with fitness. Pardon me? Uh, Haida fitness. What is that? Okay, that that is the Jaira Fitness. That is my company. Um, okay. I have um, I have a consultation uh, company. I also uh, sell supplements. I'm a brand ambassador of uh, QNT Protein. So that's a major uh, uh, protein, uh, you know, supplement company. They deal with sports nutrition. So I also sell that those supplements. I have a store and I have a consultation also. Uh, so it's majorly consultation where I and I write articles also. So in that, uh, you know, in the in that little world, uh, that company is called Jared Fitness, and I manage it all within that. That's a phenomenal. Love. I have somebody from Texas, USA, saying hello. Uh, great, great presentation. So we have people watching you from all over the world right now. Very, so very grateful. nice. No, we're grateful that you are doing what you're doing because you are an inspiration even to men. Men don't think about their body as well as they should, and they don't go to the gym because they don't have the body of a bodybuilder. But you don't have to. You just have to work out and go and take care of yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. And that's the attitude that you Absolutely. start. Absolutely. Actually, you need to just keep working, and the results take care of themselves. Um, I always say that you should focus on the habits uh, that you form. Your goal should be to form that habit. And uh, you don't build muscles. The nature builds muscles. The, our bodies are make, made like that. It takes care of itself. So you need to do and things fall in place on their own. You know, uh, for business women that are now becoming so successful in many industries worldwide, they also get so busy, they're not taking care of themselves. So your message is so important for them to yes. slow down, make time for themselves to take care of their body. And you talked about the mind. They need to build muscles in the mind as well because if they don't, they're going to get exhausted and drained. But business women need to hear your message. So you're definitely yes. going to be very involved with us for years to come because there's so many great opportunities for people just to eat a little better i feel i see women who sit on a chair and then uh, there comes a stage where they're not able to sit for a long period oh. of time still and they have issues with their lower back and how long are wow. they going to long, you know last so it's the for if you want a quality of life you're earning money for quality of life but the true quality of life comes only if you give up a little money and you know focus on your health you know things do fall in place i'm sure about it now, tell us, everybody that gets to a point, 
like you have on a global scale, there has to be some challenges that you face. Can you share a couple of those with us to tell people that it's not always that easy, but you keep going? Yes, uh, the first challenge, uh, the you know, the primary challenge I have faced, uh, you know, is uh, with my son. Um, um, I, you know, my childhood was very tough. Uh, my mother had schizophrenia and uh, I had a very, 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 very uh, challenging and uh, she used to get kind of hallucinations to, you know, hit us blue black and, you know, it was very, very painful. Um, after that, uh, my son was born with autism and he was, uh, you know, it was very difficult to bring him up. Like the doctor said that he wouldn't be able to speak. Uh, mm -hmm. He was born in 1988. We had no awareness about um, autism in India. I actually have uh, an uncle who sent me literature from USA. He lives in New Jersey and uh, he sent me literature and I, you know, kind of studied it and uh, devised my own therapeutic modalities. And uh, that really taught me a lot. You know, it, it uh, for almost, uh, say, two decades, I was doing nothing except just looking after him. And it was in the process of taking him to the gym that I started bodybuilding. So whatever I have done is like is in the process of bringing him up. Um, I just ended up doing it myself. And uh, so uh, as far as bodybuilding per se is concerned, uh, we, uh, you know, the, there was nothing for women at all, nothing mm. to, for, to offer in India. Uh, I faced a lot of challenges from the society, from the neighborhood. They thought that it is not, uh, uh, you know, dignified to mm. wear a competition suit and go on stage. Um, oh, and they yeah. thought it is uh, not appropriate. And uh, they, then, you know, I had the challenges from the Federation here in the beginning. Uh, now, of course, it doesn't exist, but, you know, because a lot of women have already done it. Um, so, uh, you know, I had to pay for my own tickets because I wanted to compete. I had to travel abroad. So I had to first earn the money and then spend it all just to be able to compete. Uh, but, you know, finally, when I did win a lot of competitions and uh, I got a lot of love eventually once I represented my country and I won a lot of medals. Uh, so people started recognizing and understanding. So, you know, once you are you're successful, then uh, nothing succeeds like success. So then, you know, it takes its own course. Well, uh, here in the United States, we would call you a pioneer. I beg your pardon? A pioneer is what we would call you here in the United States. You yes. Know, pioneer yes. bodybuilding yes. for women in, a, in the whole country and around the world. So you are a true pioneer. Very, very nice. What is transforms of uh, legends, transformers of legends? Uh, that is uh, that is another company where um, I I train only athletes. The only athletes okay. are trained there. Yeah, uh, it's not uh, you know with general fitness, it's like people who come to me for for general fitness. Uh, but in uh, Transformers of Legends, uh, you know, we say we transform uh, people who become legends. So it's that it is named like that. Uh, this was in partnership with the uh, with my business partner. He died uh, two years ago, oh, and uh, um, yeah. But uh, it it is a wonderful company, and uh, you know, I I have had athletes in that. I think uh, being involved in this male-dominated industry. Regardless of whether it's bodybuilding or not, it's an inspiration for women to really get into industries that are dominated primarily by men, and they have no limits. Because they can be a pioneer and turn an industry around like you have done. So it's very impressive. Um, people are just keep texting us from all over. Great interview. They're so impressed by your uh, that support you now because originally I imagine your family in India was not very happy. <laughs> so at the beginning, would there, you get resistance from your family in India? Yes, yes, oh, a lot, a lot. And uh, uh, but you know, it's like when you want to do it, you find a way. You know, uh, you you just got to. Uh, you know, shut your eyes and ears and just keep going. Uh, once people know that uh, she's very determined, then they, they, people just have to just let go. You know, I'm, I'm kind of the bad girl uh, breaking the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but now they're proud of you. I'm sure they're very proud. Yes, yes, yes.
The, yes, the yeah, as, as, as I said, you know, they eventually accept once you start succeeding and, uh, uh, you know, when people outside start, uh, uh, you know, giving you the respect and right. the encouragement, then they, then they start looking at it differently. And I know that you have a uh, new responsibility since you have nothing to do being the co-chair of Lawani in India. Yes, uh, you know, that that's something <laughs> wonderful. Um, I, I'm I'm so happy about that. That you know, in the first place, uh, we have this kind of uh, platform. Uh, this is, of course, envisioned by uh, Dr. Caroline Makaka, and um, Kalpana is the uh, chairperson. Um, I am the co-chairperson here because I can handle things uh, locally. Uh, we already have a vice chairperson, and uh, we have you know we have different states. Because India is a very diverse country, uh, you know, Modest. we have different states and we have varied culture um, in, in, you know, in all uh, it, the, the, the essence of being an Indian is like we have unity in diversity, you know, so uh, uh, it is a very rich and diverse culture. So, uh, you know, when you go to the micro levels, you know, in the in the uh, at the ground level in the villages and small cities and towns, it is very, very diverse. And to understand the intricacies and the nuances and reach out to women, uh, we need a lot of uh, uh, women out here. So, uh, you know, when they when they have somebody to reach out to the, 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 the women at the ground level, they have somebody to reach out to and. Uh, they can relate to so it creates a lot of opportunities and binds everybody together so when you help women you're actually uh, helping an entire family you're helping the children you're he helping the society to grow as a whole um, and you know that is of how you bring about a change like we we have this we are the change um, event we had at loani and uh, i'm so proud and so grateful actually that something like this even exists uh, yes, you know, yes. it's, so it's, it's, it's a wonderful vision that uh, Caroline has thought of. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah, we're very uh, great friends with her and support your incredible efforts. And we have interviewed some of the ladies that are doing what you're doing in their country. So I'm very happy that you're with Loani. It's a great organization. And uh, with your help, it's going to be much bigger in India. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure because India is a place which needs that much more, yes. you know, than uh, many of the places, uh, you know, because here uh, it is so difficult for women and we have a very, very uh, diverse society. So when you become one, uh, it, is, it is amazing. It's, it's actually together. It, the world is a family. Yes, it's wonderful. So we, there's so many exciting things uh, to learn from you. Uh, can you give, do you have a website where people can go learn more about you? Oh, I haven't really made it, but I'm, I'm really uh, going to do that now. I'm soon going to do that. A lot of people have told me, yes, so I'm going to yes. initiate that. Yeah. And are uh, you on Facebook? Under, uh, yes, uh, my Facebook by the name of Rita Singh. And I am on Instagram by the name of uh, Rita Jairath. Uh, R I T A J A I R A T H underscore I F B B Pro. That's wonderful. I think this is only the beginning of a great relationship between us and you because you are the type of person that's changing the world and that is bringing a lot of people out of their office and their homes to take care of their bodies and, the, and their minds. So I think you're a huge inspiration, especially with this COVID. I mean, people are sitting yeah. home and didn't do absolutely nothing, but at home you can exercise and and yes. feel better and look better, correct? Yes, absolutely. You know, I, I have this in my heart that after achieving and after doing uh, so much, um, I wish to give back to the society. And I that is why I write articles and I and I use every platform that I can, you know, to promote fitness and uh, because I feel that once you're healthy, strong and fit, you can work endlessly up to the end of your life. And that is what is, you know, living life to the fullest. That kind of encompasses everything, your business, your profession, your uh, relationships, um, you know, everything. It, it kind of uh, takes care of it all once you're strong in, in you know, with physically and mentally. That's a, you're a great inspiration. 
And uh, I'd love to talk to you for another hour, but we're unfortunately running out of time. I would like for you to give us some closing ideas and comments to inspire people. Um, first of all, I really wish to thank you for having me. Uh, the idea of uh, having success stories of women uh, is kind of giving them an opportunity to speak and for the world to hear that there are women like that. Um, you know, when, when my son, uh, you know, was, uh, uh, you know, told that he's, uh, it is all incurable, I took it up on myself as a challenge, as a life challenge to make him, you know, give him uh, the, you know, all the possible um, opportunities. He was not only able to speak, he did his graduation and post-graduation from UK and he helps mm. me now he's such an asset uh, so yeah. how i got the motivation to work for 20 years non-stop getting him into schooling you know in in a normal school was only by looking at other examples that has right. been uh, the key to my success i have been all by myself doing it all alone and i was able to achieve that only by looking at other examples so uh, creating this platform is, is, you know, uh, helping unknowingly helping thousands of lives. And uh, when you do it worldwide, it is, uh, it is amazing that an entire world uh, comes together. And that is the vision of uh, Caroline uh, Makaka. She is, she is a great inspiration in herself. Uh, imagine what a woman can do, you know, by, by just envisioning something. She has brought the whole world together, an entire family of women who can really change the world. So I'm extremely thankful to you and Dr. Caroline Makata. Well, uh, mentioning Dr. Caroline, she just sent us a message on this uh, chat uh, with three hearts. So she sent you her oh. love. She's watching this interview right now, Caroline. She's oh, a great friend of ours. Oh, she's Thank awesome. You. We love Caroline. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be together oh, yes. for many years because we're all doing the same thing, helping each other and helping other people and inspiring. So with Caroline Makaka, she's online now Absolutely. watching. She will be so, one of the legendary visionaries uh, in this world. I know it. A few I years she's from al now. She's already. She already she, she is. is already. <laughs> but she, will be, she will make history. I know that. Yes, she will be yes, there forever. Yes. We're very happy to know her. And you are definitely, as a guy, I'm inspired and motivated by you. And the fact that your son is your motivation and your inspiration to be where you are today that's a tremendous testimony for people around the world, especially people that have a um, child with uh, autism or any other thing. You didn't, that didn't stop you. You never quit. You never gave up. And you didn't listen to the doctors. And I tell people, don't listen to the doctors. People say, yeah. doctor, a lot of doctors say, it has no cure. But if you look, you'll find a solution for everything. So yes. we're out of time. We're honored to meet you. We're honored to have you with us. We're definitely going to invite you again. We can't wait for your book. Uh, it's going to be amazing uh, for people around the globe. So thank you. We're going to say goodbye now, but we're not going to say for long. We will be back together. Sure, indeed. I look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.